Hello friends. So this is the Japan vlog and there's only one this time. If you go back into my channel you can watch the three that I put out from our trip last year. And I am all done editing the clips from the trip but I wanted to kind of come on here first and first introduce the video but also explain that this vlog did not go at all the way I intended it to. So this was a very brief trip. We were only there for a week. We really only had five days to do what we wanted and two whole days of that was Disneyland and I wasn't gonna vlog Disneyland so I wanted the rest of it to be kind of a finding inspiration in Japan, finding some cool art supplies and other things and like working, maybe doing some art or other stuff. I actually talked about this in the intro I did in Japan, but the way the trip ended up going, there wasn't a lot of time for us to just kind of sit and do stuff. So it ended up being more of a, let me see how many things that I can see and capture and bring home that brought me some kind of inspiration. Because if I'm being completely honest, I am burnt out and I have been burning out for probably the last six months and it is at its peak right now. So I was just really looking for anything to spark any kind of positivity in me. And I'll talk more about this at the end of the vlog, but uh, I didn't come home with that. So this is more of a fun reflection on the trip and just kind of what we got up to, what we ate and what I came home with. So roll the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is not the Lay Spirit Design Studio. So obviously we are not in my studio. We are not even at my house or in the country. We are in Tokyo right now and this is going to be a little bit of a different vlog. I'm not gonna do a travel vlog like I did last year when we were in Tokyo. Instead, I'm going to, I think, focus this video more on working with me here while I pick up some art supplies and jot down ideas for characters and stories and other things for the business and maybe even get some art in. So hope you guys are interested and let's go explore Yokohama today. Whenever we come out to Yokohama, we always end up coming to the Landmark Tower Plaza, which is a shopping mall underneath the tallest building in Yokohama. Of course, there's lots of cute fall and Halloween stuff going on right now, and this little Halloween costume display was too cute. And we were actually looking for the Ghibli store that we always come to. It's our favorite one. It's just kind of tucked in there on, I think, the third or fourth floor. This one's just always cute and cozy and quiet, and it always has a very cute little seasonally themed window display but this time ryan had some pens that he wanted to buy and i was on the hunt for a small notebook that i could put in my purse for the trip and we found some of these and i had a really hard time choosing between all of the adorable designs on our way back to the train station we walked through this cute park event and we passed by this Pronto coffee shop that had this huge illustrated menu banner that I just loved the style of, so I had to get some footage. And that was our cute first day in Japan, spent in Yokohama. Good morning, so it is Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday here, I don't remember. We did a lot of shopping yesterday and just kind of walking around Yokohama, and I did end up buying some stationery, um, a couple notebooks and a pen because I want to be able to doodle while I'm out and about, but let me show you my haul from the Ghibli store. On our way back to our room last night, Ryan saw this little call of pastry in the window of a bakery and had to have it, so we're gonna share it, even though it's almost too cute to eat. The people voted. The people did vote. It has to be eaten. So this was like probably one of the only purchases we did that wasn't food, which is good for the budget. Um, we may do some more damage today. And some of this is Ryan's, but... You can show the people what I got. <laughs> His favorite Ghibli movie is Porco Rosso, so he had to get another 
little hanky. And two of these pens are his. We both got a Kiki's Delivery Service one and a Porco Rosa. Well, he got the Porco Rosa one, but I got the Kiki's one. You can see a little GG on there. And then I got these two little grid notebooks. I almost couldn't choose because I liked the Mononoke one as well. Have a little Gigi in there. This one has little Totoro's. I just figured these are good to bring around with me. They're nice and light. And then this is my most exciting purchase, an art book from Oga Kazuo, who is probably one of the artists from Ghibli. I actually don't know, but I flipped through the sample in the store and I made a lot of really happy noises. So, and I think it was like, what, 20 something? Yeah, after the exchange rate. Like, yeah, after the exchange rate, it was like $20. So I need to start collecting more art books. And again, part of this trip is inspiration to heal my burnout. So I figured this was a good thing to do. So I'm going to pick one of these. Which one should I bring with me? Uh, they're both cute. I know. I don't know. Totoro is just an aesthetic, but I like Kiki's because she's a witch, but also because that was the year I was born is when it came out. Sounds like you've already made up your mind. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I have to match the pen with it anyways, so. There you go. Juicing them. On Wednesday, we did Tokyo Disney Sea, and we got to see this adorable little welcome party of Duffy and friends, the adorable teddy bears. And basically we just ate a bunch of food and we did some shopping and rode a couple of rides and the cutest strangers stopped us to take our photo, which was just absolutely precious. And then we ditched the land and we went to ramen for dinner. <sighs> Speaking of snacking and eating, that is honestly one of the biggest reasons why we travel and why we keep traveling to Japan. 
we love the food and we love the snacks. Which brings me to this video's sponsor, TryTreats.com. TryTreats.com is one of those boxes that you can subscribe to every month and you can choose how many snacks you get and every month you get a box full of snacks from a different country and it's honestly a really great way to travel without the cost and without leaving home. Depending on what size box you get, you can get up to 10 treats or more and every box comes with a little card, a postcard, a recipe card, and also an informational pamphlet that shows all the snacks inside and how they're made and what flavors they are. And you can even write on the back which ones you like the most and which ones you like the worst and which ones were the weirdest. TryTreats.com sent us a box from Colombia and I have never been to Colombia, so I'm super excited to try these out. They even threw in some little shrimp crackers because we went to Japan. So if you guys want a little taste of another country, TryTreats is giving my viewers 15% off their first box by using the code LAYSPIRITDESIGNS at checkout. Now, let's get back to the vlog. We found this precious breakfast spot in our Airbnb's neighborhood and we had a very slow morning this morning and I finally got to break out my sketchbook and do some art. And I wanted to draw this cute pumpkin boy decoration that I saw in Disney Sea the day before and I didn't get a photo of because I thought we'd go back by, but we didn't. So I drew him from memory and I actually probably should draw him again. But this place was so cute, the theming was adorable, and our food was so good, and this was probably the best day I had for eating. We actually went back the next morning and had it again. Then we went out and did some more shopping. We tried to go back to Disneyland and ended up ditching it. So we did more secondhand shopping and had some very cute encounters with the locals. I got this very cute pickle bag. And then we attempted many times to do station stamps. And I'm really sad that I didn't think about this until late in the trip, because we went through so many train stations. But I wasn't very good at doing it anyways, and neither was Ryan, so. We just have a small handful of very poorly stamped things in this book. A little update to our trip. We were supposed to do Disney the last couple of days, which I was never going to vlog, but we didn't end up doing Disney today because it was so crowded. It was miserable. So we left and did a little more secondhand shopping and exploring other areas, which you saw. And now we're going back to have some dinner and Yucky Tori and get drunk. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just continue to look for things that are inspiring to me which isn't hard, but also hasn't exactly been going as planned. And now let me show you the walk to our Airbnb. Stunning view. And a very steep hill. Even though we had the hike of death, this neighborhood was so peaceful and quiet and beautiful. And it was a very almost industrial area where we were, but also very residential.
and then we were home. So we got home, and again, there were several days that I didn't vlog at all. Like our last day we spent in Akihabara, and I didn't do any vlogging whatsoever. And we did do some shopping, but I didn't do any footage of us secondhand shopping, and I'm not gonna show you, but I did buy two skirts and a pair of tennis shoes, which you may have seen a glimpse of. They were the cute little pastel tennis shoes that I ended up wearing quite a bit on the trip. I'll show you all of the things that I bought and kind of talk about them. So you saw on the first day that I bought the cute Ghibli notebooks and my Kiki's delivery service pen that I didn't actually show very well, but you also can't really see it very well. Um, and this is the one that I ended up using for the trip. And I really only doodled on that first page and the rest was used for very poor attempts at collecting station stamps. So I actually am keeping this one in my purse just to have, it's nice to have a notebook. And then when we were on our second day, I ended up in that tiny, tiny, tiny stationery shop that Ryan couldn't fit in. And I got these pens. They're very cute little pastel pens. I haven't even used them yet, but the color on the clip here and the top, that's the color of the ink. And they're based on like sweets. So I got orange, peach, honey, and melon. And I just thought the packaging was so cute. And that whole store was so adorable. And I think I spent like $2 on these, two US dollars. And then while we were still there, that was in Koenji. This was in a box, but I couldn't, I couldn't resist this tiny daisy cup. It's just so precious. And I even, I deconstructed the box, but I kept the box too. I like to, this is a very strange thing about me when we go to Japan is I always end up keeping like all of our receipts and like paper paraphernalia if it's not like food dirty, because I like to put them in a box and then eventually make like a photo album of the trip and just, it's very strange. So I deconstruct the box because it's also cute, but for pens, I had to reason with Ryan that this is for pens. And if you guys watched my studio makeover vlog, I didn't buy any knickknacks. I was not allowed. I wasn't, I didn't do even a single gachapon machine. So also in our second day, we went to, after Koenji, we went to Kichijoji, which is one of my very favorite places in Tokyo. And when we started flying with my newest carry-on, I wanted to start collecting stickers of places we've flown to. And I couldn't find a very good Tokyo sticker last year. So this time, and we see these guys mostly at the Pokemon centers, but B-Side Label is a very famous, I don't know if it's a artist collective or what, but they do stickers. So I wanted to get some stickers to put on my carry-on and I did, and I'll have to find a picture of it or something, but it was a very cute little train ticket sticker. And then they had, I had to get this one for the cash box, little Anya. And then there were some Halloween ones. Ryan got one too, but I don't know where his is. And then they had like some local limited stickers. So these ones say Kichi Joji on them. So I had to get them and they were very cute. So those will go in my sticker book. Also my precious little Cookie Ann keychain that I got from Disney Sea. Um, it's the 40th Dream Go Round celebration keychain and I wanted to get one because I like Cookie Ann. I don't like her with the little like chef's hat that she usually wears, but the party hat was so cute. And every time I look at this on my bag, I just smile. And I also bought, I mean, I call them my Duffy ears, but it's technically Shelly Mae because it has the bow. So it's the little bear ears with the bow. And then I bought three art books and I realized with the yen as weak as it was at the time we went, I would be dumb to not buy as many art books as I can. And I actually struggled to find some decent ones that resonated with me. And we did go into a couple of book offs, which is like a secondhand store for books and movies and games and all kinds of stuff. So I did find, I still haven't taken it out of a wrapper, but this was the one I got at the Ghibli store. And there's lots of beautiful concept arts and paintings in here. And these are the two that I got from book off. I don't know what this is from, but the art was very pretty. And this one is, I guess, a paint with me book. And I actually opened it recently. I didn't even notice in the store, but it has on watercolor paper printed pencil sketches that you can practice painting on. So I just thought that was super fun. So very pretty books that are going to go in my collection. Hopefully I'll be able to read them someday. And then on our last day in Akihabara, 
every time we go and you get out of the, the train station there at Akihabara Station, there's always, I don't know if it's like every time or if we just catch it every time, but there's always like a little farmer's market going on. And I just wanted to look at everything and there were these snacks that are in these little like fabric wrappers and they were so cute I had to have them. And they have other little things on the back. So that is my haul. And like I showed you, I didn't do hardly any sketching. I took a lot of photos. I didn't post them all into the vlog. To be honest, as quick as the trip was and we didn't get to do a lot of things that I wanted to do and that was really only because I didn't have anything in mind. So we just kind of went as we went along and just did whatever we wanted to do. So like I didn't have a set agenda for this trip, which I usually do. And I think that also kind of made me feel a little bit listless about it, but with having to get over jet lag twice in such a small amount of time and then to come home and know that I was all this work waiting for me and just a bunch of other little tiny things that would go wrong here or there all month long but I came home to even more burnout than I left with and it's sad to know that I could go to a place that I love so much and come back feeling not uninspired but not healed in any way so I actually pulled the trigger on this and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to include any of this in future vlogs, but I actually pulled the trigger on buying The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron and I saw Tiffany on Apple Cheeks talking about this for months and she did the whole 12 week program in the book and kind of did a little vlog series about it and it really seemed to help her. I'm at, I'm at my wits end so much that I'm willing to try literally anything that's not what I've been doing and I'm hoping that I can start this in the next week or so. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing me work through this. It won't take over entire vlogs, but I would love to since I have two more conventions coming up and that's it for the rest of the year. Since I'm gonna have all that time to kind of recharge before 2024, uh, I would love to dive into this. And if you want to see me kind of working through it in that in that space between the end of convention season for me and the new year, let me know in the comments. So with that being said, I hope that you guys still enjoy this vlog. I know it's always fun to see what other people get up to when they go to Japan. So like, I love consuming Japan travel vlogs and I watch a lot of Japanese lifestyle vloggers myself. So hopefully this was still a fun and interesting video for you guys. And it was definitely a weird one to not only film but also to edit because it was completely unlike any of my other content that I've ever put out. So be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already because it seriously helps the channel. And after this I have to get my butt working on Con Crunch. I have two back-to-back -back cons, Anime Pasadena and Anime Expo Chibi. And after that, I will be doing my final event for the year, which is From Home, BizBaz at Home, an online free convention. So make sure you guys keep up with me to know when those are happening and where I'll be and where you can find me. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. But not as much as this does, so baby, bye.